got it together most of the time. I know how to handle most things, but this is kind of like the, the exception. I have denied from awareness. To me, that says that I deny the fact that I that there is such a thing as being out of control. Well, denied from awareness simply refers to the fact that I'm not generally aware that I'm out of control. I think it's just like some specific incidents. But actually, it's a belief that's there all the time. Because that's the way it comes to awareness when I'm in those situations situations. where it seems Mm -hmm. out of control. And then I pin it on that. I say, oh, well, in these situations, Mm -hmm. I feel out of control. But over here, I don't. Mm -hmm. So what this might suggest is that you're out of control, but you don't realize it Mm -hmm. except well, it's a it's not that I'm out of control, but that there's a belief in my mind mm-hmm. of uncontrolled that there myself. that I do have a lack of control, mm-hmm. and that most of the time I keep it out of awareness. Because mm-hmm. it would be very it's not like the belief comes and goes. Mm-hmm. Beliefs always. It's there. not like it comes and goes. It's not like it comes when Nancy's there and it goes. The behavior when seems gone. to come and go, mm-hmm. but the belief is in the mind all the time. And it only comes to awareness mm-hmm. when there are situations that I perceive as mm-hmm. saying, oh, now I feel out of control. And then that's over. And I go to the next situation and I say, no, now I feel mm-hmm. fine. So that take it a little bit deeper, too. It's mm-hmm. The first time that the out of control seemed to yeah, appear was when the right. ego, mm-hmm. remember I gave you the little passage into eternity where all is one, there crept mm-hmm. a tiny mad idea at which the Son of God, remember not to laugh. Mm-hmm. That it's is the, the, original that the original out of control. Right. And now that's just the wrong mind, but there's layers and layers. Mm-hmm. So it doesn't seem like every time I feel like I'm out of control and I'm feeling a little mm-hmm. anxious, that it's just because I'm choosing the ego or <coughs> I'm choosing the wrong mind. No, it seems it's because something out there mm-hmm. on the screen. If this person wasn't that way, mm-hmm. then I wouldn't feel so out of control. Or if things had gone differently in the world, I wouldn't be out of control. So it's a belief that's way very, 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 deep. Mm-hmm. very mm-hmm. deep in the mind. Mm-hmm. So it seems like the problem isn't my belief in being out of control. It seems like the problem is this scenario. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. There. That's why we keep calling it tracing back because it's like mm-hmm. you're starting with Nancy and which is out here and you keep yeah. tracing right. it back. You're tracing it back to from mm-hmm. the perception of the scenario to the feelings, feelings that to we the identify thoughts. to the thoughts that to I'm thinking of what I'm fearing in the future right. and then to the belief to the belief and it's an ego belief. So that's mm-hmm. the tracing back because the point you want to get to is the middle right here. to see what and you want to take you know, the ego the core of this problem because yeah. until I get to the mm-hmm. core it's just going to keep coming back even if Nancy dropped off the face mm-hmm. of the earth tomorrow it's just going to come back in another form mm-hmm. when okay. I blame fear something in the world it is to avoid seeing the upset and resolution as they really are decisions in my mind, and to instead maintain an image of self other the world as I wish. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. So the upset and resolutions, we could really, mm-hmm. it boils down to the, our first day when we talked about the wrong mind and the right mind. The wrong mind is the upset. It's always the source of the upset, and the right mind is always the resolution. Mm-hmm. To use course terms, the Holy Spirit. Okay. <clears throat> this mind trick seems to displace guilt and fear, but actually maintains feelings of upset. To blame or fear an image of self other the world requires that I believe I am limited to a body and world of bodies, and denies the spiritual abstract reality of my being. As a first step in letting go of all upset, I want to see in my mind what I thought was outside it. Being upset about A is only another attempt to make C 
the cause of my guilt and fear. I want to find a cause out here because as long as I can say, well, the cause is out there, then it takes the responsibility away from my mind. If the cause is always coming from my mind, then that sometimes can feel like I don't want it to be there. I want it to be that you're the problem or you're the problem for those people. <laughs> now because important. it's too hard to change the mind when we get to thinking about it. Try, like you're saying, how can I change it? How can I see it different? And I ask myself that question. Well, that means I have to choose the right mind. So that means I have to go to this concept called forgiveness. And the way the Course explains forgiveness is really difficult to comprehend at this level of my experience, but like I'm beginning to understand it more and more and beginning able to, to see it. Like I just realized some things here that sort of changed some, made some shifts for me in, again, back to the bathroom, um, in getting that squared away. Um, so I guess what I'm saying is it's just so hard to give up what you believe and think is right and true because you had it all this time. Well, that's how you identify yourself. Yeah. That's, mm -hmm. that's a very important mm -hmm. piece of it. Yeah, it's the self concept. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. And then what we do is we find somebody who joins us in that self concept, and most people will. I mean, if you go tell the story and you tell about Nancy, in this group, we're not going to buy it. But you go to a group of your friends, and they'll say, you're right, Lynette. God, how did you how deal you with that, with Nancy? Her? How do you put up with her? Yeah. You're a I'm saint. Sure. God, <laughs> you are a <laughs> saint. Get rid of that, Nancy. <laughs> I don't need to hear that. You know? <laughs> exactly. So you come here, and we're saying, saying we love you too much to buy it. So we, you know, we're going to work this through. But most, you know, the world wants the world to be true. Yeah. That's really important, too, is that, you know, joining. You can join in the conflict and you can bring in a bunch of people to join in the conflict or you can join in the peace and find. So number eight, upset seems valuable and justifiable when A runs counter to what I want or wanted. What I want or wanted and still or and expect or expected is E. How I wanted a to be the solution, or how I wanted the how I want the scenario to go. Mm -hmm. uh, in this case, we could put peace in there, right? Well, well how, how do you want the scenario to look? Specifically, with, with what Nancy, with these like? family gatherings, mm -hmm. that she wouldn't attract attention to herself or mm -hmm. whatever. What's the There's ideal scenario? Upset seems valuable and justifiable. So this isn't my upper mind talking, this is my lower mind talking, right? All this is your lower mind. Mm -hmm. yes. All right. Then, um, so what would your lower mind have said would have, been the, would have been the ideal okay. situation? So Nancy would yeah. just be normal. <laughs> Let's write that in the yeah. Yeah. Be normal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Now we got to the bottom of it. <laughs> Nancy would come in and say, hi, Lynette, how are you? And sit down and never say another word. You know, normal. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> Polite. Yeah, but yeah. Unboisterous. <laughs> okay, we got her sitting there quietly. <laughs> so that's our action or situation or event now. I still believe in some form of lack. You better believe it. Yeah, there we go. I still believe in some form of lack. D. So I think I need E to be happy, complete, and at peace. Okay. Now, if she acts normal, I will be happy, complete, and at peace. Mm -hmm. That's all it'll take, right? Mm -hmm. Sure. That'll do it. My ego will buy that. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> and that'll make me consistently happy, consistently complete, and consistently at peace for the rest of my life. As Absolutely. Long, as long as she's <laughs> As long as Nancy <laughs> stays quiet. Or home. So that leads us to the last sentence. <laughs> Is this belief in lack and the resulting expectation? more important to me than peace of mind. 
Is it more important for Nancy to be be quiet and that act right? That is my peace of mind. <laughs> well, is it? is it? But now, but is now it? you're addressing the higher mind. Uh huh. Okay. We're talking about peace of mind forever. <laughs> Consistent peace of mind. Consistent. One hundred percent. Okay. No, of course not. Number nine. Everything in the world works together for my good. What I think is the cause of my upset is not the cause at all. The choice to be upset is a choice not to see the cause. My belief in separation lack has a present decision in my mind. It's an attempt to see the cause in the past or future, and the present has its effect. So the first sentence really gets to that. I mean, that, there's a line in the Course, and there's also a line in the Bible about all things work together for good. And you probably have read about it, and even other spiritualities, as they talk about everything's, you know, happening for the good or divine, divine order, order and different things like that. That's just a basic metaphysical principle. That's very reassuring, <laughs> you might add. Yes. So, if you even go back to scenario A, which is the scenario of what seems to be, here's this party or this gathering of the family, and that's all working together for my good, but when I have a belief in lack and I'm reading meaning into the scenario, so to speak, and, and, and according to this meaning that I'm reading in, there's a villain there, <laughs> then am I willing to question the meaning that I'm reading? If and am I willing to take a look at well, it's happening. It's all happening for my good. So this is there's a lesson for me to learn in this whole thing. And that is just can, how can I perceive this differently? Now, okay, the sentence says the choice to be upset is a choice not to see the cause, or my belief in separation lack as a present decision in my mind. Then the it's an attempt. That refers back to the choice to be upset? Mm -hmm. All right. It's an attempt to see the cause in the past or future and the present as its effect. In other words, just thinking about mm -hmm. Nancy. You know, if you're thinking about the scenario and it's mm -hmm. and the emotions are coming up, the frustration, the anger, the being, mm -hmm. you know, boxed in a cor or cornered in or whatever or those feelings are that don't feel very good, then it's an attempt to say, no, it's not my belief in separation and lack that's the source of this upset. It's the cause is, is in the past or the future. In the case of, it could be just thinking about the past, that past scenario, or it could be thinking about, next oh my gosh, I've got to, we've got to get together next week and this is going to happen again. Mm -hmm. So the mind, again, is not in the present, but it's... So you're upset right now, even though Nancy's not anywhere near this room, but I'm just thinking about what happened in the past, or I'm mm -hmm. anticipating what's going to happen next time I see her. So I could reword that slightly and say it's an attempt to see the cause in the past or future, and the present emotion is its effect. Then, because it's my present emotion that I'm well, experiencing. Present, yeah. present right. state of mind. Present yes. state of mind. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. and, and it says it's an attempt to see it that way. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so, number 10 is what I want right now above all else is peace. I question D. And I voluntarily let go of E. Which was her keeping her mouth shut. Right. Which is, E is a good one because I, I think of E for expectations. Mm -hmm. It helps me remember that. Oh, I have to question my belief, my underlying belief in life.